I am going to talk about the beauty of digital transformation. Very recently, Geo has signed an agreement with Facebook for entering into digital transformation from petty shop to the major companies for ease of use by the public. The pressure is on, on for all the companies to become digital. It is essential to survival and leads to improved customer experience and therefore retention. Increased traffic across all channels and ultimately higher revenue. Although the imperatives are clear, transformation is not easy. There are a number of challenges including the right leadership, vision to drive the change, instilling a culture of innovation and openness, leveraging the data, adopting to technology change, anticipating customer needs, and tracking results. The strategic rules for transformation can be summarized by three basic approaches. One focuses on customer value propositions, and another on transforming the operation model, and the third on transforming operational processes. In the digital world, even companies in the primary physical industries will not start their digital transformation journey from zero. Instead, most organizations are already finding ways to use digital transformation by providing interactive websites, improved customer service, or enhanced customer experiences. Similarly, there are creating basic operating capabilities such as online channels or digital supply chain tracking. From this starting point, a company's strategic approach to transform typically follows one of the three parts shown already said by me. That digital transformation, the key domains. The first domain is customer experience. One key area is to transform the whole customer experience. Businesses have started to take advantages of previous investment in systems to understand market segments and specific demographics. Some ways in businesses are transforming customer experiences include exploration of social media to understand customer dissatisfaction and satisfaction, promotion of brands through digital media, building of new online commodities to build loyalty with clients, building products that improve branding and lifestyle communities, building analytic capabilities to get to know customers more in detail, usage of technology to improve in-person sales communication, integration of customer purchase data to offer better and personalized sales and customer services. Service companies now offer self-service through digital tools, usage of mobile applications. The second one is the business processes, the transformation of the internal process or operational process of a business is also very important. Process digitization. Processes now are going beyond using automation to enable themselves to refocus on more strategic tasks. It now goes beyond efficiency. Going digital often reduces the need for shipping physical prototypes in both directions, thus reducing the lifestyle of product development. The second one is worker environment. With the increasing use of collaboration tools, email and video conferencing, etc., employees can now stay in contact with clients and customers who they have never met or in areas they never visit. Digital transformation replaces one-way communication mediums to broad communication methods and remote work. Next is performance management. Digital transformation systems offer business executives more knowledge of regions, customers, and products, thus making it possible to make decisions on real data and not just assumptions. Managers can now compare status across several sites and adjust product manufacturing capacity. The operation models let us talk about now. Besides transformation of operation process and customer experiences, digital transformation is also about the transformation of business models. Companies are finding ways to bundle physical and digital offerings and uh, using digital methods to share information across company slots. They are now building service wrappers and traditional products to bring about major changes in the business model. Global shared services make way for better flexibility and reduce risk. 
Next, the business architecture, digital enterprise. Digital initiatives require each building block to be developed and used to same degree. Some blocks will also serve as more natural starting points depending on a company's circumstances. For instance, a company whose IT constraints make it hard to deliver cutting edge customer experience will naturally want to focus on the technology and process elements first. But this framework provides executives with a coherent structure for thinking through and managing large scale digital platforms. While each of these building blocks is important, the real value is in being able to integrate them and manage the cross business contingencies and dependencies of a large scale digital initiative. Thus, the digital revolution has given birth to interconnected world that binds customers, employees, managers, and systems together in a network of unprecedented complexity and opportunity, making sense of those connections and building value requires a new interdisciplinary model of work that is redefining companies. I am sure this digital transformation is going to be the future of the world. Let us enjoy. Have a great day. Thank you. Watch this video. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel to watch many more videos like this of great personalities. Share this video with your friends to subscribe to this channel. Have a good day.